what what do you mean one thing about these lashes it looks like i'm gonna fly somewhere hi guys ah i am so in love hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to pretty face insert if it's the first time here hi there it's Ntabi here from Ntabi Ling and not to saying any for returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back bye so before we even get into what this video is about and all of that i think i like the idea of having my beauty videos naming my beauty videos pretty face insert i literally just thought of that now as i said it and now that i actually think about it like think about it i think it would be a really cool name please do comment down below in the comment section say whether you give it a yay or a nay but anyway in today's video i did this beautiful face i have on right now i am in love with how my skin looks so dewy and radiant i did not set my face and still this is how radiant and dewy my makeup is looking i'm in love but anyway if you are interested in seeing how any of these products work which products i use from my like makeup bag which product new products i use and any of that on my jewelry as well I did speak a little bit about it at the end please do keep on watching let's get straight into this video i have moisturized my face with what i usually moisturize it with but for today i'm also gonna go in with this clarence hydro essential moisturizing cream i got this for free when i got some new makeup for fashini i got a couple of things and they are all by clarence so i'm just gonna try this out to see how it feels maybe i'll go get a like bigger one it feels good on the skin it's just a moisturizer it feels like a moisturizer basically so i'm gonna start off with my base and then i'll do my brows after i'm gonna go in with this maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser primer yeah i don't need to like read out the whole name uh this is the only primer i ever use because i kind of have textured skin on my cheeks on some days not all the time so i literally only use it to smooth out my skin foundation i'm gonna use my estee lauder double wear foundation i got it in the shade 6w1 which is the shade sandalwood so quick backstory on this foundation when i got this foundation you guys i knew that it's gonna come like in a smaller size but i was not aware that it's gonna be this small okay i got it in a smaller size all because i've never used it before and i just wanted to test it out before i actually go by the big size like the normal size which is like 600 and something maybe going on to seven this was 352 or 325 somewhere there i was not expecting it to be this small but i'm actually glad i got it because i think i love it i've used it twice before so today i'm going to be using it for the third time giving it a third try so because it doesn't have a pump or anything like that i'm just gonna take it like pick it up with a brush like so because i don't want to put it on the back of my hand like next thing i put on too much and i don't have a way to take it back in and this was expensive 300 for a foundation that's small for me child that was <laughs> that was a lot of money i took out to get this foundation so i'm just gonna apply it like that and then i'm gonna blend it out afterwards But to blend it out i'm gonna use a flat blending foundation brush i'm gonna tap it in instead of swiping just to get as much coverage from it as possible so this is what the foundation looks like immediately after blending it all out i have not applied any other product and it's said to give off a very natural wow let me say very it's said to give a natural matte finish i am getting the natural finish but as for the matte i'm not too sure 
um but also that could be because of what i put underneath like on my skin maybe that's why i'm not getting like that very matte finish but i'm not too mad i'm actually not chasing the matte finish so i'm happy with how it's looking i'm gonna go straight into concealer now and for concealer i'm gonna go in first with this one it is the anti-age the maybelline anti-age eraser concealer i got it in the shade 145 which is warm olive and then i also got the l'oreal infallible concealer in the shade 332 which is shade amber so this one it is too light for me as you can see it's it's practically white and then this one it is a like too close to my skin tone so it doesn't give me that highlighted effect so i'm gonna mix these two to get that nice bright concealer you know just a good balance between the two i'm first gonna go in with the maybelline one which is the closest to my natural skin tone mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna go over it with a little bit of the l'oreal concealer I'm actually gonna instead of using the applicator I'm actually gonna use the brush so that I don't go in with too much and I actually kind of mix them together before I blend them out I'm concentrating this lighter one like on my just under my eye and I'm not taking it like too low as low as the other one I'm sorry about the lighting changing this actually annoys me so much whenever i'm editing and i'm just like yo my lighting is changing so many times it's because i shoot with natural lighting i have my ring light on and all but i also have like a big window in front of me so whenever the sun is in and out of the clouds it affects my lighting i'm really sorry about that i'm making like that little straight line there to start up my nose contour I know I look a bit too crazy but trust the process so while I allow my concealer to sit on my face I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild foundation to contour with so initially when I got this foundation I actually got it to like to have it as my overall face foundation and then I started watching Rhea's videos on Instagram and here on YouTube and she uses this foundation to contour with and it gives her such a nice contoured warm finish and then i started using it as a contour as well and i've been loving it i use it on days when i don't want a harsh contour just to warm up my face because it isn't too dark for me but it does give me that like nice warm look i hope i'm making sense but yeah i just applied on here on my cheeks and then on my forehead and then to blend out my contour basically i go in with the same brush i used to blend out my foundation if that arm is not tired you're not done blending so now i'm gonna blend out my my concealer i'm gonna use a beauty sponge blending sponge to blend out my concealer i've really been loving using a blender to blend out my concealer i think that's just because i found a really good blending sponge i got this from cosmetics they're really good and they're like only 15 rand so i've really been loving blending out my concealer with them this gives off a very nice finish this is what I love to see when a face is coming together so nicely. I close my eye so that any excess product I get on my sponge, I can transfer it onto my eyelid and this just kind of prepares my eyelid for eyeshadow. And this is how the face is looking after all that blending we had just went through i i'm in love eyebrows done i did shoot a like detailed separate video which i'm also gonna have on here on youtube so if you're interested you can check it out but for now we are back to the face i took my own sweet time 
doing these brows and I have not set my face but I have minimal to no creasing my skin giving anyway to set my face I'm gonna go in with my regular which is the colors limited loose face powder in the shade closed I love this so much I hope the yeah, the cutting grass outside I hope it's not too loud I really hope it's not too loud so to blend to apply my powder I'm also gonna go back in I'm gonna go back in with the same sponge I used to blend out my concealed areas so I'm just gonna go in with my sponge again my blender in on my under eye and then I will put the powder on top immediately because you don't want any possible creasing although I have not creased this far I don't want to crease at all and then I'm gonna try to like have it go down here as like a little line <coughs> sorry just so that I can sharpen my nose contour Now this is what my powdered side looks like and then this is what the unpowdered side looks like. Please buy this powder. Please get your hands on this powder because what? What do you mean? Look at how flawless that is. I'm not even done with my face. Or maybe I'm just obsessed with myself but like really I have tried out other powders ever since I got this one and I do love them but I always find myself coming back to this baby right here it does not matter whether I apply it with a brush or a sponge it just always gives me this very really nice finish I love it get your hands on this baby right here I'm gonna use the other product that I don't think I'm gonna be changing anytime soon even though I have tried others I still come back to it it is this smudge contain highlight palette I've hit pan on this contour shade and I'm like almost there as well like I've hit pan but it's not so bad with a bronzing shade as well I love this palette I don't use this highlighter because it comes off a little too light too white on me but you see these two here i first go in with the brown shade to set my contour and then i go in with the bronzer shade to bring back color to my face i just like to pat it in first before i blend it out i think the reason i love it so much is because it's not too much and I love how I can control the product like I love pigmented products but also with this I don't know it's not that it's not pigmented but it does not give me a hard time of like me finding myself having mistakenly applied too much like I just I'm able to control it just the way I want to have it like come off of my face and then after placing with the same brush now I'm just gonna go in and try to blend out So I just went tapped in on the bronzer shade. So now I'm going to apply just a little bit higher than we applied my contour. I apply my contour here. So I'm applying this here. It's just between, just right between where I highlighted and where I contoured. Also, if you're not like a blush person this is actually very great it still gives you that very nice warm look without it looking too red see that contour it's there but it's not harsh you get me yeah and then for my nose i'm gonna go in with this brush and then i'm gonna go in with the brown powder to contour my nose my nose is already contoured and I have not applied any contour shade. That is because of that um, step technique, I guess. 
I don't know what to call it like having applied my concealer on here like on a straight line and then the one in the middle I still have my foundation shade peeking through so that is why I still have that contour without having done anything but now just to intensify it a bit I'm gonna go in with this I'm sorry for the noise I'm I'm sure it's gonna be a lot louder now that because someone opened the door I'm done with my face my base I have put a little bit of like a translucent powder on the sides of my nose and the bridge this is the translucent powder I put there it's the she glam back glow setting powder put a little bit of it there so that you know I keep my nose snatched while I do my eyeshadow for today's eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette it is the Mimosa Floor Cosmetics A True You Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Growth. Yeah, shade here. It is the shade Growth. I'm just gonna pick it up with this brush. I did my makeup yesterday, so that is why my brushes are dirty. I did my makeup, but that was for Instagram. And I actually came up with a very nice look. I was using the and tones eyeshadow palette which i showed in one of my vlogs recently so i'm just gonna apply this eyeshadow like this on here i didn't even use a lot but the pigment is insane my base is so beautiful if i may say so myself <laughs> but like are you guys seeing how flawless the space is oh wow it's not even just about me blowing my own horn when i was born you can also see that it's there i have placed that eyeshadow there it is not the brown i thought it would be it looks like it has a reddish undertone it's not what I was going for, but I like it anyway. And then now I'm going to go in with this orange. It is Grace. The name of the shade is Grace. And then I'm going to mix it with Wisdom, which is this very light brown, I think. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to mix those two. And then just apply them down here. I love how that is looking and now to blend out the air of like because I thought I was gonna go in with another shade to blend this out but I think I'm just gonna blend it out as it is and not go in with any other shade so I'm just gonna take a clean brush this is the brush I used to contour my nose with I dusted it off and then I'm gonna use it to blend this eyeshadow out right just at the edge I'm just gonna keep blending until see that see that and now I'm just gonna line my waterline using a black eyeliner one thing about these lashes it looks like I'm gonna fly somewhere but it's fine I'm gonna give them like a serious try they're so big and I actually have a, an even more dramatic and longer like set I don't know we'll see I might change them I might keep them like I shouldn't have even done eyeshadow because they're like yeah but anyway I am um, just gonna go back in on my palette and then I'm gonna take this shimmer gold here it is a wet thing and I'm gonna take a little bit of it and place it on my inner corners just a little bit of it not too much Mm -hmm. exactly 
attack exactly now to the lips baby i'm first gonna obviously line them I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip gloss it is the colors limited lip gloss i don't know the shade name whisper I really need to get more of these lipsticks it is by this like jewel lip thingy it's by sheen and i actually love this color so much and then i first tried it on i was like mm. but i actually like it so much now it's in the shade deep caramel i'm gonna add gloss nothing about me I'm gonna add it has a tint to it I could be adding a what I usually used is the smudge lip gloss but because this has kind of like oh child this is what it looks like see that but yeah this is what my lips are looking like this is what I'm looking like let me go and then I'll be back to give you guys the full and finished look. Cheapy. Lip I'm trying to like, you know, act like the lady that I am and not scream my lungs out. You guys, I am so much in love with how this whole face like came together so nicely can we please take into consideration the fact that i did not set my face i did not set my makeup after applying all those powders and this is how radiant i'm looking i did not even apply highlight also i don't know if it's the foundation that's giving me this very nice natural radiant look or if it's the moisturizer the clearance moisturizer because i did say that it's giving me a very nice finish but whichever one it is i love it are you seeing this face also these lashes they've definitely grown on me because i cannot have i cannot think of any other pair of lashes that would have given this look this finish i just love everything also i went on to put some jewelry which i've been loving so much lately i have on these um bracelets i got them from sheen they came in a pack of five i have two on right now they're actually better quality than i thought they would be because i've been wearing this one quite a lot lately actually just quite a lot since i got it and it has not like the gold has not worn off it's still the color it came in and then this chunky ring i got it from fashini also came in a pack with like four or five others this small one it's quite small but it adds that it adds what it needs to add to the whole look um got it from sheen it also came with like maybe eight nine others and then i have my rose gold watch which it's coming off more gold than rose gold on camera um i got it from fashini my necklace got it from sheen came in a pack of five and then my earrings like out of all the jewelry i'm wearing my earrings are my favorite uh yeah anyway we have come to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching if you are uh, watching my videos for the first time thank you so much please make sure to subscribe before you leave if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back bye from me to you guys it's all love i'll see you in my next one bye